Good morning, greetings and salutations, you guys, it's Hayden here. Welcome to another episode of The Thrifting Vlogs. I just got inside the car. It's a really nice, warm, sunshiny day today, and I am very excited. Uh, today, we're going to go thrifting at uh, probably like the Veterans Thrift, and then after that, I'm going to go to another thrift store um, closer to where I'm going to be vaccinated today. So today, I'm going to get my first um, vaccine, which is very exciting, um, but that's not until later on in the day, so we're going to just hit up as many thrift stores as possible before then. And we're also going to hit up LBC, which is what uh, I use to send boxes to my family in the Philippines. And I'm going to pick up two, two large boxes. I'm telling myself this right now so I don't forget because I always forget every time in, I'm in the area. Um, but yeah, so that's what's on the agenda for today. But oh, first of all, if you guys love thrifting, thrift house vlogs, home decor videos, and all that fun stuff, do not forget to subscribe with the little bell button so you're notified when new videos do go up. Add me on Instagram. It's Adrian, just like it's spelled here. And check out my shop. It's Adrian.com to see whatever for sale for my thrifting adventures. <gasps> Whew. But without further ado, let's start our day. All right, just got to the store. Let's go inside, check it out, so excited. Let's go. Looking through the backpacks. Okay, so far, there's like this coat, or this fossil bag. It's super cute, but there's like color transfer. Oh wait, no, this is J. Crew. I thought it was Buffalo. There's also this. There's a brand called Noni Noni. Which I'm gonna look up right now. It's only five bucks. There's this Tano. Which is super cute. There's color transfer on the back. I think we can remove that. So we'll see. And then I saw this, um, I think it was Kohan, but it's such like a cute style. Yeah, Kohan. It's so cute, right? It's like 10 bucks. Is this a tiny haunted chair? Like, I'm kind of scared of this. Okay, so I just found these Gucci shoes. I don't know if they're authentic. They might be like $60. Alright you guys, I'm only going to get these things. I found this Aspinall of London. It's really pretty. This little Shinola bag. And then this Miro. Mino, Mino. Alright you guys, so I just got to the Goodwill. I went to LBC across the street. I didn't have any boxes. They said I could use whatever box I wanted apparently. But I don't know. Anyway, let's go into this goodwill. I haven't been here in so long. I see a giant Hello Kitty in there. So. Alright, let's look at some handbags. Gotta look at them first. Elliot Lupin. Mondani. There's Clayborn, Divinio, BC, BG, Max, Andrea. Unlisted. Kinda of cool, it's like a little holder. Ooh. Glass bowls. Does anyone make them? I don't see a thing on them. Hey guys, okay, so I just got inside the car and I just got vaccinated. So I'm super excited. I also got this 20% off coupon for my entire purchase at CVS. So what am I gonna buy? Maximum $15 value. 
redeemable uh, in store at CVS on Long's drugs for one time use only. Anyway, so I'm super excited. Um, it was like the shot was like painless, like an, any normal shot. Um, it's been 15 minutes. I don't feel any different. So. So far, so good. I did take a Tylenol a few minutes before I went in, which is what people were telling me to do. And then I guess I'm supposed to take like another Tylenol like later on, like in a few hours, and then hopefully like I won't have anything at all. So yeah, very excited. Probably gonna go home now. It's 1:44. I like in the area that I'm at, I might hit traffic if I like leave any later. So I'm just gonna go head home now. And yeah, okay. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Greetings and salutations, you guys. We are back at the house, and I'm super excited to share with you guys what we ended up getting today. So I just got a couple of things. Um, okay, so we went to the thrift. I was actually there yesterday, and I found a ton of stuff. So you guys want to check out that video. I'm going to have it linked if it went up before this one. I don't know how, like, the order. Sometimes I go a little bit out of order sometimes. Um, but... I did find a couple little items. So this tip is for any resellers or people that want to start reselling, um, anything like that. When you are in this store and you feel something, or you see something like really, really nice, even like as far as like handbags go or shoes, clothing, um, look it up, look at the label, just find out comps, find out how much the item retailed for, yada, yada, yada. And you can literally find some gems, especially with like, Thrift stores definitely looking at name brands now and pricing those a little bit more expensive or a lot more expensive depending on the store. You can still definitely learn a lot and find brands that still sell for a lot that not a lot of people or like resellers even know about. So that's kind of what happened with today's little haul. None of these brands I've known before. I think I might have known one of them before, like I've heard of it, but I've never found one at the store. So it's all just a pleasant surprise. So let me start off with this one. This is a little brand, a little bag called, Sh uh, or a little bag brand, a bag brand named Shinola. This is a little bag by them. <laughs> you can't even talk anymore. But this is a cute little crossbody bag. Um, wear it like this. It's really adorable. I love the size of this bag, it's like the perfect size. Um, you can actually remove the crossbody strap, which is nice, so then the whole bag can just become kind of like a wallet or like a um, like a little clutch. And the whole bag is made of leather. It has tons of compartments. So the main compartment has one card slot, there's another pocket right here, and there's a zipper pocket right there, and then there's two open pockets for more like card compartments. So there are definitely so many compartments to this bag, and it's so gosh darn cute. Just needs a little bit of a cleaning. Um, so the brand is called Shinola, and it says Detroit underneath, so I think that might be like where it started. I don't know if you can see it on that pocket right there, but this uh, says Shinola Detroit. And it also says Shinola right here on the little button on the front. And on the back, I think this might be some sort of identification number, like a serial number or whatever for the bag right there. So the bag is really cute. The bags um, by this brand actually are pretty expensive and the comps for resale are actually pretty great. And if I remember, I'm gonna pop those up um, right there for you guys to see. But I was very excited about this bag. It's really cute and it was only $4. So I thought that was a really great deal for a great all leather cross body bag. I thought, why not? Just needs a little bit of a cleaning, maybe a little bit of a color touch up right there. I don't know if that's some sort of color loss or just some sort of stain, but we'll see how much the conditioner fixes up. And then if not, we can just use our handy dandy black uh, black leather dye and then we'll be good to go. So there we go, Shinola Detroit for just $4. Then this is another bag that I've, that I've never seen before or heard of before. And I thought the bag was just really cute. I think the thing that stuck out most to me was this handle. I love that it kind of looks like fish scales. I don't know if that's just me, it just gives me the mermaid vibes. But the bag itself is made of like a beautiful off-white leather. It's super soft, there's lots of stitching details, there's these front pockets, there's a little heart charm that says Moni Moni, which is the brand um, has nice hardware, cross body strap, top handles, 
beautiful. Then the interior um, looks like this. It says Moni Moni, it's made in Italy. It says it right there on the little metal tag. And this bag was only $5. So cute. The leather is, again, it's beautiful. I love the style of it. This is like one of the styles that I feel like um, are kind of timeless. I feel like this silhouette, this style is always like pro like popular. And I again, the details are what really drove it home for me. I love like the stitching detail right there. I love the handles. The handles are, again, my favorite. And then the fact that it has the removable crossbody strap is really nice. The bag hangs really well at a good length. And if you want it shorter, you can always just tie it up or you can attach like a different crossbody strap to this as well. Um, with lighter colored bags, it's really easy to just attach a crossbody strap and I feel like it always looks good even if it's a black or brown. The contrast is really nice. So you can do like a fun guitar strap. They sell those at like Target. They have fabric ones with really cool designs. You can get them from Amazon. So I was very happy with this bag. Again, it was only $5. So I thought that was a deal. Like this bag was $4. This one was $5. I mean, you can't go wrong at those prices like those phenomenal okay so then this is the last um item that i have and this one is probably my favorite i love this wallet so much it's this beautiful metallic silver kind of snakeskin style leather um it's from a brand called aspinall of london this is the one that i think i've heard of before but i've never actually found and it's just a cute little wallet on a chain it has a chain right here you can wear it on your shoulder if you want it or just like in your arm and i think you could actually attach a longer strap to this too if you had like a longer chain because it does have the little rings on the side so this strap is removable or you can just tuck it inside as well and then you'll just have a really beautiful wallet slash clutch that you can use but the interior is fantastic because it's very spacious it has tons of card slots there's some back there some right here there's a money slot right there then there's the middle change compartment and then there's also two more pockets right there on the front and again this brand is called Aspinall of London, England Find Leather, it says right there on the little tab. Uh, the wallet itself is actually in pretty great shape. I think it just needs a little bit of a cleaning. And then the chain is really cute, just a nice little dainty chain. And this wallet is beautiful. So I was very excited to have found this. Again, this one only retails for like $7. And this bag company like the handbags actually cost like upwards of like a thousand after tax so it's very fancy and expensive and the resale value is really good i think this this wallet actually retailed for about five hundred dollars so that like this was my favorite find of the day probably like the best find of the day so very happy really pretty wallet it's gorgeous i love a metallic and it's so shiny you can definitely see a reflection inside of it and I could not be happier. So that is going to be the end of today's video. Um, I hope you guys had fun checking out the store and running errands with me. Uh, I did get my shot. It's kind of like, oh my gosh, my farmer's tan is awful. But it's kind of like bruising, like a tiny little bit, I think. But it doesn't hurt. Like if I touch it, it doesn't feel tender or anything. So I don't know what that's about. But... Yeah, so I'm very, very excited. Um, hope you guys had fun today. If you guys did, don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to say hi down below in the comments, especially if you guys are new to the channel. Welcome. I'm so happy to have you guys here. Welcome to the Thrift Squad. Uh, don't forget to tune in for the rest of the week because I have new videos going up every single day. And I have a ton of really great stuff and really exciting videos to share with you guys. So don't forget to check those out. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, burn early at 7 a.m. for a new one. I love you guys immensely. I'll see you guys all in the next video. All right, bye.